Hey guys, Mediocre Pie here. Got an idea for a video last night, so thought I'd tell you guys about paracord, well, kind of rope in general, and how it, how strong it is, and all that sort of stuff. So a lot of people, it's kind of a uh, misnomer, but a lot of people think that 550 paracord can hold 550 pounds, which is completely true, but that's only in a straight line, a uh, linear pull with a static load. What that means is, um, a static load is, let's say this is just hanging and you have 500 pounds on the end and you're not moving it whatsoever that's the uh, static load dynamic load would be you're lifting it or you're or it's swinging it around or something like that and every time it moves around or you lift it it's going to exceed 550 pounds which is going to break the line um, so a lot of people think that yeah sure one strand is just fine for uh, I don't know like repelling off a cliff or something and honestly, it's, I wouldn't do it because you can quite easily overload 550 pounds. Um, I weigh 185 and I could probably break this no problem. Um, but anyhow, that kind of goes into another part of uh, rope, which is, I'm going to use a more colorful one because it's easier to see. Um, every time you bend it, so the more of a bend that you do around an object, so let's say I'm tying around this, I'm going to lose some strength uh, of the rope. Rope is always strongest in a direct straight line. So any sort of bend um, in the rope, you're going to weaken it. And that's including a knot. So um, even if you tie a knot that's uh, quite reputably quite strong, I'm going to use another piece of rope here, like a figure eight, that's going to be a lot less, if that's going to weaken the rope a little bit. Um, let's see what CMC Rescue has to say. Uh, CMC Rescue is a um, they kind of specialize in rope rescue and that sort of thing and they've written a whole bunch of uh, rescue books if I can get the app to work on my iPod. I'll look them up CMC Rescue. They've got a free app on the iPod. Uh, there's It's going to be backwards but there you go. Uh, it's pretty cool if you're interested in this sort of stuff. It shows knots, different systems and kind of describes everything. So according to CMC Rescue, this knot, which is a figure eight on a bite, I don't have the safety knot, but hey, we're not using this. Um, this makes it 77% efficient. So this means just by tying this knot, you will have lost 33% of the rope's efficiency. So, so according to CMC Rescue, um, this knot is 77% efficient, so that means you would have lost 33% of the rope strength just by tying this knot. So that means you'll uh, 550 cord with that knot will only be able to hold 423 pounds. So you can see quite quickly you can lose um, weight carrying capacity just by doing a knot tying around an anchor or whatever that is. So looking at a different sort of knot that we use all the time, let's see, bowline. Bowline it is rep quite reputable to be a very strong knot, and um, there it is. It's kind of a knot used to make a loop on the end like this, and uh, according to this, it is 67% efficient. So again, 550 cord, let's do the math uh, if my computer wants to work. I'm not very good at math, so I have to use a calculator. <laughs> that means your 550 cord will only be able to hold six, oh, six, uh, 368.5 pounds. So another demonstration of how quickly you can um, lose your rope's carrying capacity just by doing a knot. And those are, I'm looking here, and these are knots used specifically for rope rescue, and uh, they choose the most efficient knots that you can to preserve as much rope strength. So uh, some other knots that you guys might tie might be even worse. So just another thing to keep in mind. So the last knot that um, I'll show you guys is the, the figure eight bend. It's used to connect two bits of rope. Um, and this is probably one of the weakest knots that CMC Rescue uses. It does look quite, it's the same sort of uh, it's almost like the figure eight follow through that you use on, on a climbing harness, but this is when it's pulled end to end like this, and it holds a surprising 51% of strength. So it's 51% efficient. Um, so if we take 550 cord again, 
this can only hold 280 pounds. That's with uh, 550 cords. So, so that just goes to illustrate how quickly you can lose strength uh, in your rope just by tying knots. How inadequate just a simple little strand like this uh, really is. And that's really not factoring in. Um, that's just brand new right out of the box. So if you do have like what I have, a nice little paracord bracelet that, um, you know, lots of places people say, you, you know, it's, you can untie it and you have a spare paracord, but um, this is really the last kind of cord I'd ever want to put any sort of um, trust of my life in. With every sort of, uh, you know, you wear it, you get dirt, you get dust, you get sweat, you might get chemicals, soap. Uh, UV light, whatever, and all those different things degrade the uh, rope. So if we look at both of these uh, bits of rope, this is a piece of retired climbing rope. This is a bit of a paracord, admittedly not the most expensive. It's the cheaper, cheaper version that doesn't hold as much with uh, the four inner strands. But same sort of uh, same sort of thing as five normal 550 cord and uh, most kinds of rope you might see around. But anyhow, this is called Kern Mantle rope. Uh, paracord is static, meaning it, uh, if you pull on it, it's going to stretch less than 10% of its length. And uh, most climbing ropes are going to be uh, dynamic, so they're going to stretch more than um, 10%. A lot of them go from about 20 to 40%. So if you do take a fall, instead of just stopping abruptly, it's going to act a little bit like a bungee cord and help slow down your stop. So that's another thing. It kind of builds in a little bit of strength just to reduce that sort of uh, load right when you fall. With static, it's going to be a little bit more uh, greater of a load than if it stops you gradually. So another thing to con uh, consider if you want to use 550 paracord as a uh, life-saving line. But anyhow, back to the construction. This is what's called kern mantle rope. You've got the kern, the inside strands. Let's get a little closer. So you got the inside strands, same thing with the uh, paracord. And then you've got the mantle, the outside sheath. So all of the strength is going to be in the um, in the uh, kern. So you can see here, uh, this is just a little bit that fell out of the rope, but it's just more little yarns that, that are intertwined and everything. So that's where all the strength is. Of course, the sheath has a little bit of strength itself, but really not as much as the kern. With this kind of rope, um, eventually you get dirt and dust get worked into the um, the mantle. You can see here, this is an old bit of retired climbing rope. You can see how fuzzy, well, hopefully you can on this camera, you can see how fuzzy this, um, this uh, mantle is. And it's really, this is why it was retired, because it was used so much, the um, mantle is starting to degrade. And um, reason for that is not only friction, so when you're using a rappel device or rubbing up against a rock or whatever but also dirt that gets worked into this and you can see on the inside these things are not perfectly white they come white out of the factory these are getting a little gray and that's because dirt has worked its way into the uh, through the mantle into the kern and the little micro particles of dirt are going to braid all the little micro threads of um, of nylon that are in here you can see if I break one of these down even further, you can see it's just a bunch of uh, nylon threads right there. So it's going to micro braid these and make it drastically um, weaker. So another issue when you you think about using a uh, paracord bracelet as a life-saving line. Um, also, with any sort of chemical that goes on there, soap, uh, even sweat, uh, the little uh, micro salt crystals that are going to form when your sweat dries are going to micro braid the little um, threads in there. Also, any sort of petroleum-based chemicals. Um, our ropes, if we met, if we get even just an inch in a uh, motor oil, in a little pool of motor oil or uh, gasoline, automatically goes out of service. The whole rope, any sort of solvent, will just start dissolving the nylon and render a very weak spot in the rope, thus making it more prone to break. Uh, if you leave your ropes out in sunlight, that's going to degrade it. The UV light breaks down. Uh, nylon on a molecular molecular level, can't talk this early in the morning, um, so 
just another thing to consider when you're you you've got your paracord bracelet and you're thinking about using it to rappel down a cliff or something bear girls would do that's absolutely stupid and insane so with all those uh, different factors in mind let's go over so you've got the uh, the breaking strength of paracord 550 pounds um, inefficiency of knots and uh, just normal wear on a rope how can weaken them there's a lot of things going against using 550 uh, pound test parachute cord as a lifeline. So my department, we do ro rescue, and we've got a set out predetermined safety ratio, safety factor that we build into all our rope systems. Every bit of our um, of our rope system, whether it's the rope, the the carabiners, the pulleys, um, the te the anchor points, whatever it is, it ha we have to be sure it will hold 13 times. Uh, what our load is in order to be safe. So if we are going to load this piece of paracord, for instance, with one pound of weight, if uh, we are to follow the guidelines of my uh, department, we have to be sure that the rope can hold 13 pounds, as well as the attachment point, the anchor, and uh, so the whole system can hold 13 times the weight that's going to be on the end. That's just our department. Fire departments do a little bit more strict than um, just, let's say, your recreational sort of climbers will do. Um, not exactly 100% sure on the numbers, but around 9% is what some recreational climbers like to run. With that little bit of extra added weight, that'll um, figure in for uh, if, you're a if you're moving up or down on your line, if you're going to be dropping or anything, it just figures in a little bit of extra safety um, just for when you put a little extra load on the uh, line and for the inefficiency of your knots. So if I were to use a uh, some paracord as a life-saving line, I'd like to use six strands of paracord. That's going to figure in at about uh, 3,300 pounds of breaking strength, which when I apply that 13 to 1 safety ratio will work, give me about 253 pounds of uh, working load. I've got a calculator over there. It's very nice. Don't have to do the math in my head. But uh, again, I feel much more safer with that extra strength built into the system. And um, really, I would not do anything less. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys have any further questions or anything like that, uh, don't hesitate to ask. Check out the CMC Rope Rescue app on iPod, iPhone, uh, all the devices. I think it's coming to Android soon. I'll put a link down below to uh, CMC's website. They've got a lot of awesome information for this type of stuff. Um, our department uses their material to train us. And um, yeah, any questions, comments, leave them down below. If you like this video, let me know. Um, hopefully I can make some more. But anyhow, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.